All right, let's move on to counters. This is another data type that might come in handy as you're considering your data model design. So what is a counter? Seems self-explanatory, huh? Well, a counter is a data type where you can have a column that stores a 64-bit signed integer. What else? Oh yes, oh yes, they could be incremented or decremented and the values are changed using the CQL update command. Counters need to have a specially dedicated table, however, as the only thing allowed in the table with counters is the primary key columns, which can't be counters themselves, and the counter column or columns. So let me just reiterate, primary key columns and counter column or columns. Yep, you can have more than one counter column in your table if you want to. Let's take a look at a little example, shall we? Let's say we own a ranch. That'd be cool, we have all these cows and stuff. Anyway, our ranch specializes in cows. For whatever reason, we are particularly interested in how many moos each of our cows make. Well, for that, we need some way to count up moos. Well, for that, we need some way to count up the moos. So, we're gonna create a table, we're gonna call that moo counts. We have a cow name column, which is also gonna be our primary key, and the moo count counter column. So far, so good. Now to add to our moo count, we will use the update command to update the moo counts table, presumably every time we hear moo or moos. In this example, we updated the moo count to increment the value, whatever it happens to be at that time, by eight, where the cow is named Betsy. Got it? Okay, some caveats you have to remember with counters. Cassandra is a distributed system. If you haven't learned that by now, we've got bigger problems than counters. Seeing as how it is a distributed system, replication can sometimes cause consistency errors in your counter columns. Be aware that this can happen. Also, you cannot insert or assign values to counters. The default starting value of a counter is zero. Another thing, counters must be the only non-primary key column or columns. Counters are not idempotent. In Datastax Enterprise, you cannot use using timestamp or using TTLs to update the counter columns. You must use the update command. And finally, counter columns cannot be indexed or deleted. Okay, I think that's enough about counters to make you dangerous. There's a small exercise you should do to enforce your understanding.